Okay, we definitely need to do more casual, relaxed videos like this. This feels really good to pull out the camera, just kind of hanging out in my sweatpants and t-shirt in my house, finally. Like, I feel like this entire home remodel process has taken on a life of its own. I feel like a completely different person than before we started this remodel and this move. It's just it's been a lot, you guys. And we're technically still not done. We don't currently have anybody working in the home right now. We paid our contract. We actually paid more than our contract and we asked them to just go ahead and not finish up. We just, it was just time. Maybe I'll go into more details if you guys want in another video. But today I thought I would give y'all an update on where we're at right now. More of like an up to date. You can see a little bit of the home decor still have a ways to go. So no judging and I like show you guys some of the things you helped me make decisions on. There's a lot that's happened since the last check-in and it's starting to feel more like a home. With that said, we still have a lot more to go, but it is definitely starting to feel like a home. I also wanted to do a little back to school essentials haul for you. I ordered the boys a ton of back to school essentials from Shield. So this is a new retailer for me. They're really popular in the Midwest. I kind of want to go see their stores. They have aquariums and arcade games and apparently this like famous Ferris wheel. If you are in the Midwest and you've ever been to a Shields store, you have got to send me some photos and videos because they sound like so much fun. It, felt, it sounds like a place that you could just go and shop with the family, but enjoy, like have a fun day together. I don't know, I kind of want to go now, but they're having like these really big back to school sales right now. So I ended up ordering the boys quite a few things for school, water bottles. I feel like these are a must. We did not carry one water bottles when I was in school, but they do now. And I like to buy the Hydro Flask brand. These are one of my favorite brands for them. I feel like they hold up really well. And I prefer the wide mouth. I feel like they clean better. So these were all on sale as well. That's why I ended up getting the, the blue color because this color was on sale. And then I got them both new backpacks and new lunch boxes. For Mason, you're gonna see they definitely have their own vibe. They're very, very different in their style. I ended up getting Mason a Jansport set. I used to be so obsessed with Jansport when I was a kid. I loved Jansport backpacks. I always wanted to get Jansport backpacks. There was something about them that made me feel like grown. I don't know how to explain it. If, if you know exactly what I'm talking about, let me know down in the comments because I loved me a Jansport backpack. I got him a black one and then I got him the matching lunch box. And then Matthew is the athletic one in the house. I got him a Nike set. So a Nike backpack and a Nike lunch box. I thought these went really, really well together. And then lots of clothes. Like I said, their style is very different from each other. Matthew is very athletic. So we've got a lot of Nike. I grabbed him a hoodie. He loves hoodies just like his mama. And here's some more Adidas. This is all for Matthew. I tried to get him more color because he tends to gravitate towards like blacks and grays and navies and whites and stuff. So I tried to order him more like just pops of color because Mason is definitely our colorful one. For Mason, I ended up getting him a lot of teas from this Salt Life brand. I really, really fell in love with this brand. If you are looking for a little bit more than just like a graphic tea, like obviously they're graphic teas, but they just feel a little bit nicer in my opinion. I really liked these. So I tried to grab him every color that I found. There were so many of them. I even got him a couple of long sleeve ones. He loves a long sleeve just like I do, but aren't these like fun? I feel like they're Matthew or Mason. It definitely has more of like that preppy kind of beachy vibe. He loves wearing a polo. So I got this for Mason as well. And then Matthew of course is more of the athletic vibe. I also got this for Matthew because he loves Sriracha. Isn't that so cute? I kind of need one myself. And then here's another salt life tea. Right, I love the colors. I think I have two more. This one I did get for Mason. It's just like a Levi's tee. All of these were on sale. So make sure to check out all the links down below. They're having sales on a lot. Of, I can't remember who I got this one for. I'll probably let them decide. I usually do that quite often. If there's some stuff that they can wear the same, I'll let them pick. But 
lots of things on sale. So if you are shopping back to school, check out all the links down below, backpacks, lunch boxes, water bottles, clothing, everything's on sale. And yes, of course I have boys, but they have a ton of girl options as well. So check out all the links down below. And thank you so much to Shields for partnering with me on this portion of the video. Seriously though, if you're in the Midwest, go check out their stores. They sound like a lot of fun. There is something about getting details of like artwork that make your house feel like a home. Obviously art is not everywhere in the house yet, but I do have it in a few areas. I added these panels. These were actually the first things to go up on the wall. I was really, really excited about trying to get these in this home because I love them so, so much in our other home. If you remember, these were down our curved staircase at the other home. They looked so amazing at that house and I wasn't sure if they were gonna work in this one. I just love the way they look. And then I added this piece, which this is one of my favorite pieces as well. I don't even remember where I bought this piece at, but I just feel like the vibe is perfect in here. I'm so excited to start getting some pieces up. And like I said, this house is slowly starting to look like a home. Last time we chatted about the house, I didn't have a coffee table. Coffee table is here. However, I do have some bad news. The bad news is, is that this one came damaged. You can see there is a crack right there. There's actually another crack somewhere else, but I don't remember where it was. This was the one that I noticed when they were delivering it. So they sent a second one and that one was cracked as well. So we are going to try one more time to get a coffee table. And if the third one is damaged, then I'm just going to start from scratch, completely return this one and get a whole new coffee table. But this was the original one that I picked out and I do think it looks great in this space. Obviously I need some decor on it. But I haven't, like, I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do with decor, especially since I'm not even sure if this is going to be the forever coffee table. But I did want to share it because I had so many of you asked what coffee, okay, Max, what coffee table, oh, no, that was Roxy. There's Max right there. So a lot of y'all asked about the coffee table and what we were going to end up doing in here. I did end up doing another layer situation with the rug, and I love the way that it turned out in here. And then I also added these drinking side tables to the space. So I added one right here by the swivel chair and then one over here. It looks so good. I did end up adding this console table, I guess you would call it. This was in our entryway at our other house. And even though I'm not 100% sure that it's going to stay here, I didn't want to get rid of this piece. And if it doesn't end up living here, I am not going to get rid of it. I'll just store it in the attic or store it somewhere or put it in the guest room or put it in the media room. I'll put it somewhere because I do really like this piece. I do think that if I end up getting a different coffee table, I think I'm gonna switch this out. But if the third coffee table comes in and works, then I'm gonna leave this because I do think that these look really well together. I don't think I have shared the like little area rug that I put in the entrance yet here on YouTube. I did want to share it because I really, really love this piece. I actually love it so much. I wish that I had gotten this like a 12 by 14 for the living room. I love it that much. I love a checkered vibe. I feel like it's so classic and elegant. And in this like tone on tone jute, I don't know if I would call it tone on tone, but in this kind of like really, uh, kind of creamy white in this natural jute. I just feel like it looks really, really elegant. A lot of texture that it adds to the space. I'm not gonna do a whole lot in this area because I just want the wainscoting to speak for itself. Here, let me turn the light on, let's see if that, there we go. I really, really just want the wainscoting to speak for itself. I'm gonna probably add something right here. I'm not sure if I wanna add like a plan. I would love to know your thoughts. So I feel like I have two options in this entryway. I can either, either add something like right here, right? Like in this area, or the other option would be to add something here. And I don't think I want to add something here. So let me know your thoughts. Do you think I should do something along the long wall? right here. here. Let me see if I can do like a little, there we go, fisheye situation. I can do something along this long wall right here, like a, a piece of furniture. 
and maybe like a leaner or like a leaner mirror. I don't know, let me know your thoughts. I can either do something here really long and kind of take up the space or do something right here whenever you come in, it's right in the center. I was thinking about doing, I've seen these really large like ball planters that are like really huge and then have a big plant right here. So let me know your thoughts. Where do you think I should put something? Because I really just want this space to almost feel, no fighting, I almost want this space to feel like a lobby of a hotel, so I don't want to clutter it up with a lot of stuff. I feel like the rug and just kind of allowing the wainscoting to speak for itself, and then maybe add either something here or something right here. What should I do? Let me know your thoughts. I had so many questions about these glass front cabinets and what I was gonna put in them. And as you can see, I did end up putting my Mackenzie Child as well as my black and white dishes in these. I put them, that's what this one is. And on this one, I did a little bit of Mackenzie Child's up at the top, that's like my barware. And then my white dishes here, this is like our everyday dishes. And then in this one right here is all of my Mackenzie Child serving as well as cookware. I just feel like it looks so good. These turned out, it looks so pretty in here. I'm so happy with the way that these turned out. I do feel like you have to be very, very careful when it comes to glass front cabinetry because it can look really, really busy, really, really cluttered really easily if you don't kind of come up with a theme, a plan. And I just feel like this works out perfectly. You can see I've got a little bit of Mackenzie Child kind of sprinkled throughout the kitchen. And we've got Roxy over there. They're kind of, Max is being a little bully. He is so, he's not mean to her. He just plays so rough. Max, why are you being mean to your sister? Why are you being mean to her? I brought the dogs outside just to go potty for a little bit and I am, just realizing I haven't talked about my backyard as far as the landscaping. Obviously, we're not going to be able to do it this year. We're too late in the season. We have two flower beds back here. We have one that runs the entire length of the pool. I'll do a little B-roll and kind of insert it. We have one along the left like fence, the left side of the fence, and it kind of goes down about half the side of the fence. And I really, really want to do hydrangeas. I wanted to do hydrangeas along the back of the pool so that you could almost see them kind of cascading from behind the privacy wall of the pool. But unfortunately, that gets too much direct sun. And I don't believe that there is a species of hydrangea that can withstand that much direct sun all day long. So I think I want to put the hydrangeas along the side of the fence. And I'm not sure what I want to put along the flower bed for the pool. It has a lot of direct sun and I don't like, so I personally prefer structured landscaping. And I know there's different plants or bushes, whatever they are, that can create this effect. But you know, like the boxwoods that are like the circle plants. I like stuff like that. I like stuff that's like a shape. I don't like things that look weedy. I don't like things that can just kind of grow haphazardly. But I would really, really appreciate any plant suggestions, bush suggestions, tree suggestions that you have that are going to be good with a lot of direct sun that are going to do well in a Texas heat kind of environment. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know down in the comments. I don't know what it is. There's a few things that I want to have done with this house. Maybe I'll show you guys our the way that our backyard is. So our fenced in area is not our entire backyard. Our backyard actually extends another 40 feet to the right. And then obviously we have some beyond the back fence. It's just you can only do a fence at a certain feet because we're on the golf course. So I want to extend our gate at least to the right so that all of the length of our yard can be in the gate. So I do want to do that. I have had three different companies come to the house 
and measure and none of them have gotten back with a quote for me. I don't know what is going on. There is still several things about this house that need to be changed, need to be updated, need to be fixed. Like the fence, the landscaping, our outdoor kitchen needs a whole, uh, we completely re need to redo the outdoor kitchen. There's still some painting that that's left on the inside that needs to be done. And then of course, I still have quite a bit of furniture that I need to get. I did order a breakfast room table I ended up going with a very classic, very simple white table. It's round and it does have one leaf extension so it can extend to an oval. I haven't decided on chairs yet. So once the table comes in, then I can make a decision on chairs and the chair situation. It really just depends on what looks best there. Still need to get breakfast room chairs, dining room table, dining room chairs. I also need to get something for the entry. If you guys can help me out which area I need to be concentrating on, either the center area or the long area. I also need to do new ceilings fan for the guest bedroom, new ceiling fan for the master bedroom. I really, really want to do something gold or white and gold or maybe even acrylic in those two spaces. I want something very kind of modern. I need a dresser for our bedroom. I need an area rug for our bedroom. I need curtains for the entire house. I'm gonna change out all of the blinds from the white wood, like two inch blinds to bamboo. I want to extend this pool area. That's not like a, that's not at the top of the list, but it's definitely gonna get done at some point. I actually want to do the pavers with the grass in between so it looks like a checkerboard. I feel like the checkerboard is, I just love it. I love it. I feel like I really fell in love with Mackenzie Childs a few years ago. You guys know you kind of were there during that journey and I feel like that has kind of created something in me that just loves the checkered vibe. It's so classic to me so I want to add that kind of detail on the left side of the pool. What else? Oh, we're gonna add some lighting back here. We want to extend the parking area because we wanna kinda create a little bit more room for parking. We have a really, really long driveway. I wanna get all new patio furniture. I might even, dare I say it, get rid of the egg chair. All those things that I'm listing off to you, those are not things that are gonna happen in the next three months, six months, even the next year. These are things that are gonna happen over time. With that said, I'm not making any quick decisions on anything. I don't care if it's a table, a chair, a dresser, a, a piece of art. I am not gonna force myself to buy something just to fill a space unless I'm absolutely sure, like I love it and I really, like I know that that's something I'm gonna be truly, truly happy with. I'm hoping that the, the, the majority of the home stuff will be done, you know, by the end of the year is what I'm kind of hoping just because even, my replacement coffee table, you know, I'm trying for a third one. That's not even going to come until November. Isn't that crazy? So I won't even know until November about that coffee table, if that's going to be the coffee table we're going to keep or if I'm going to have to pick a whole new one. Anyways, I, I really love and am enjoying taking you guys along on this journey, but this is going to be a very long one. This is another area that you helped me out on my area rug in the kitchen. So I wasn't sure how I wanted to configure this space as far as area rugs because we've got this area here we've got this area in front of the range in the front of the fridge in front of the pantry all around here and i ended up putting this five by seven area rug in between the first two islands here and I just think it looks perfect. This is all I'm gonna do in this area. This rug was super affordable. It is machine washable and I love washable rugs. Like all of my rugs in my house are, well, other than the jute rug, like this rug is washable. So is this rug. This rug is also washable, not the jute one. This is not washable, but the one on top is. That's another reason why I like layering rugs because you can get the texture of a jute rug. I throw a washable one on top of it and I feel like it just, it makes it more practical. But I love the fact that this rug right here takes up the majority of this space. It makes this area look a lot bigger as well. And I also wanted to update you on the closet situation. We're still not done, guys. I actually just got my organizer drawers last week, but I'm still waiting on two ladders. So we're getting closer. We're just not there yet. 
so maybe y'all can help me here. I'm pretty sure I've already decided on these samples, but maybe just confirm that my choice is, is accurate. I am going to probably order a few more samples from another company. These are all from the same company. I decided that this one was going to be too busy. I think that these are obviously for bamboo blinds, so I just feel like these are too busy. This feels very vacation, like hut-esque. Didn't like the twist here. I feel like these are classic and simple. This is what I'm aiming for. What do you guys think? I feel like it's classic. It's a good kind of lighter medium for the windows. Here is the pink color in most of the house to kind of give you an idea. And then I feel like some areas I would do a white and some areas I would do like this kind of curtain. What do you guys think? Are we liking these color combos? Do we think they look good together? This one is a little bit darker and I was thinking this for the boys room and for the media room. So there you have it. A little update of what's been going on around here. We still have so much to do as you can tell. It is a very, very long list. This is gonna be a very long labor of love, but I, th I think that we're, we're getting there. It's baby steps, not one single room. I do plan on doing room tours as most of you have requested. If there's anything else specific that you want to see in regards to the house, let me know down in the comments. I'd even be open to doing a Q&A. So if you have any questions about the remodel, about the move, about you know decisions I've made, let me know down in the comments. And if I get enough questions, maybe I will do a home Q&A and answer all of your questions. I really love talking about the house and I really love updating you. And the plan is to do a living room tour, a kitchen tour, a bedroom tour, a media room tour, like all the things that you guys want to see. Unfortunately, not one single room is done yet. And because of that, I can't really share half completed rooms. Like the living room is the most complete. And as you can tell, it's, it's not even fully complete. Still a lot to do with the in the kitchen, a lot to do in the main primary bedroom, and a lot to do upstairs in the media room. Just a lot to do in all of the spaces, to be honest. Like I said, there's not one single space that is fully complete. So let me know any questions or requests that you have down in the comments. If you're new to my channel, my name is Amanda. I typically do fashion and luxury videos here, but I am documenting and bringing you guys along on this entire move and remodel process it has been we bought the house in october we moved in in november the remodel started in october and it's it's just been a lot this has really been and i know i've said this before but i just feel like i cannot stress enough how difficult this process has been for me for us it has been extremely draining physically mentally emotionally in every way if you are considering going through a model now is the time ask your questions below i would rather address them now so that you can truly be prepared because even though some of you did prepare me for this process i feel like it is impossible to truly prepare somebody for a process like this but i would love to be the one that at least gets you as prepared as you possibly can be because this process is no joke. It seriously is. I'm just still not even fully out of it emotionally. I still feel very emotionally drained from this process, which is exactly why I think that it's even, I, like I said, we have some more painting to do. I don't even think I'm gonna have painters come or hire new painters to come until after the boys go back to school. I just really don't want workers here for a little while. I need some time to breathe. Yes, we did pay for painting. Yes, it should be done. Unfortunately, not everything happens the way that you expect it to during a process like this. But anyways, thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to check out all the links down below and shop the back to school sale from Shields. And thanks again for partnering with me on today's video. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you.